right, how about the before start check? It takes hours of work to get to this point. Those are normal. Piloting a full simulation. Seatbelt on. At Alaska Airlines Flight Operations Training Center. Auto set for Seattle. Flying in this simulator is the last step before getting into a plane. At uh, 2980, showing 80 feet. Newly implemented technology is targeting students at the beginning. It's helping uh, give them exposure to things we, we typically wouldn't see early in training, which makes them more successful in the latter stages of training. VR flow up here. Virtual reality. Uh, yes, These virtual students reality. are using it for the first time today. It's like your alarm clock in the morning, you know exactly where the snooze button is, and this helps that muscle memory to know exactly where that switch is. Prior to the VR technology pilots would study using these flat posters. They tape them to their walls for this next step of training. It's the half simulator and as you can see, very different. Alaska Airlines has had the technology for about a year. They've implemented it in the last six months. How realistic would you say this virtual reality is to it? Uh, 90 plus percent. Um, so we spent a lot of time customizing this to uh, Alaska's actual airplanes. So every switch and every single light is is our aircraft. This comes at a time when the airline is increasing their hiring process, now producing 600 new pilots a year, while another 300 Airbus pilots learn how to fly a Boeing 737. I really see a, a bright future for uh, virtual reality and, and just helping to enhance, you know, our, our training program and what we do. An important step to help staff planes and increase capacity for the consumer. Alaska Airlines is one of the first U.S. airlines to use this VR technology. They believe it's so successful it will be standard use soon. Here in SeaTac, I'm Kristen Goodwillie, King 5 News.